All right, so I'm going to show you how to add this water main in the plan view. So, um, I'm going to get a distance. And you notice this is behind. Our, our, our center line starts right here at 0 plus 0, 0. So if I want to do a distance, I'll do di from the endpoint perpendicular. So I'm getting a distance. So the water line is 13 feet back. Alright, so what we have to do, water lines are three and a half feet deep, but if you're looking at AutoCAD, so three and a half feet deep is measures three and a half this way, but we exaggerate our profile by five feet. So each of these lines, so that's 185. So if I did a distance from here to 190, it's exaggerated by 10. So it says it's 50 feet, but it's actually five. It's because if, if not, it's squunched up on the top of each other and you want to be able to see it. So if I had to offset that line three and a half, it'd be so small you couldn't see it. So we're going to trace over the finished grade right here. So I'm going to go to the home. And these, we want these lines, ex we want these to be um, profile. So we want them solid. So I'm going to make a layer and it's going to be a new layer and it's going to be profile water and I'm going to make it bl a blue or a cyan color which is this color right here make it current and to be able to offset this line down if I hit O for offset and offset it 35 because that would be 3.5 times 10 it's not going to let you offset that down so we have to trace over it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a polyline so I'm going to type PL for polyline and I'm going to do the solid line so it's to finish grade so I'm going to let it connect here then I'm going to go all the way to where my curve starts and the O snaps are already there. Now remember when we're in a curve, you have to hit arc. So ARC. And I normally do second point. And then I'm going to do the shift right click and do midpoint. And it'll get the midpoint of this arc. And then we're going to come out to the end. And then go back to line. And we can go all the way up to the end. So this is a lot simpler. Alright, now I'm going to do one other thing. Because the water line started 13 feet back, I am going to do a line that starts right here at zero and I'm just going to draw it here so that I can offset it back 13 feet. Okay, so I want to offset 13 feet right here and that's where. So I'm going to erase it. I'm done with it. And then now I'm going to offset the water down and remember it's 3.5 feet, that's how deep your water mains are. And we do 3.5 by 10, and it'll be 35. And then it's an eight inch water main. So eight inches divided by 12 would be 0.6666. Well, we've got to convert that. Um, we got to make that times 10, so our offset distance should be 6.66. So I'm going to offset 6.66. And I'm going to extend the water back to here. 
All right, so, and I'm just going to put a, an ellipse, and an ellipse is E-L, and I'm going to put a little ellipse here showing the other waterline that it's tying to. All right, so that's pretty simple. So your water's in. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the text that I have right here and label it over here. Oh, I don't know where it can, oh, there it connected out there. I gotta take most mat snaps off. And I'm just gonna put it in right in here. And rotate it. Now the only thing that they don't really need to know is that it's 10 feet left of the center line. We can double click it and say um, three point five feet deep and do typical. So water's done. I'm going to go ahead and erase this line down that we had copied. So our water's in. And we're going to do that 45 degree bend. So how I'm going to show that is I'm going to copy. i got to put the fire hydrant is. I'm just going to copy these two here. And this. And all you do for that is you're going to show ellipse, you know, kind of the way we did. So I'm bringing it, one's at station 10, and the other one is at 9 plus 52. So I probably should have left my. I'm going to kind of unnormally, I'm going to put it there. So I'm going to rotate this 90 to where it lines like that. I'm going to take the 10 feet left off. And then to make rotate this, I might just do the paintbrush and then that straightens it out and then I'm going to get rid of this and then all you have to do is we'll be doing a little ellipse so they'll know a, some type of pipe is changing or doing right there I probably would just cut this off at 10 I don't think it'll let me so how to do that is if I trace back over this original line like a polyline, take my O, put my O snaps back on, trace over this. To go to station 10, that is a thousand feet. So you remember how you drop the plus out? So 10 plus zero zero will be a thousand. So I'm going to offset a thousand. And then I'm going to offset 9.52 for that 9 plus 52. So now I have those two lines in. One's perfectly here. So I'm going to trim it back. And I'm just going to erase this out kind of looks like that. And then this one, I'm going to trim this back and do another ellipse. And it kind of looks like that. And then they'll know there's a pipe coming in. Alright, so we're done with this one. So that's pretty easy. We're done. Alright, so we want to do the same thing for the Queen's Point. So I want to do a P line here. 
this is a curve, so I'm going to say arc. I'm going to do second point. I'm going to do shift right click midpoint. And then it ends right here. And I'm going to go back to line. And we are going to do the same thing. We're going to offset down 35. And then offset down 6.66. So as you can see, the existing ground, we're going to have to fill in quite a bit here. And now remember that um, T or the the actual T or 45 degree bend is a little different from this. So normally when we get here, I'm just going to show it. I'm just going to make a little, what it looks like a little plug. Because you're going to plug your water main. So I just made a quick triangle. And I'm going to go copy my text right here. Copy that. And I'll bring it down here. I'm going to take my snaps off. Now, since I've already got this one up here, I'm just going to copy it down because it's going to be identical. And just put it anywhere. You can rotate it. You could stack your text if you wanted to, but that gives them an idea. And now this one is 0 plus 32, so I'm going to do a line again. I'm going to do a P-line. From here to here, offset it 32. And I'm going to trim, I'm going to trim this off. Race, and then just do a line and they'll know. And then rotate. Nine. So, Believe it or not, we're done with the water. That's typically about the most you have to do with water. There'd be a few other details you'd have to add in, but um, for a whole, that would be pretty much show what you would need to do. So at this point, I'm going to save and stop.